you had told me something that blew my freaking mind. You yes. said that kids don't really have homework now. No. Now, no. I want to talk about this. That's bullshit. No, okay. Here's the thing. As as much as like this is kind of like that student debt relief argument thing, right? It was like, we didn't have it. So like, blah, blah, blah. Like, wouldn't Fuck you, you wish you help. had that? Right. So like, I, and we're trying to make things better for these kids. You go through eight hours a day of school. Right. And like, I hated when my parents were like, Oh, try working. My job is not nearly as stressful as fucking school. How I used to be in school. Mm-hmm. And it, cause you would be, you do eight hours of school and then you would go home and some of these kids, you heard stories for years. I was up till, you know, 10 o'clock or two o'clock in the morning doing a paper. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> but if you were me, yeah, yeah, yeah. you probably wouldn't cause I didn't do shit, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. but like yeah. kids that actually tried, yeah. like you were up all fucking day Yeah, I was, and I, you're not getting paid for this shit. Yeah. And like, and no, uh, and like, I get it. Like you're, we're paying to get an education, but like, that's a lot of fucking work for kids. Cause we're legally mandated to go to school for at least a certain 16, 16, 16, 16 something. Yeah. 16. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like you're te- you're like the adults that were telling us that, Oh, try, try working a real job. Blah, blah, no, Other fuck countries you guys. have <laughs> been experimenting with the whole no homework policy as well. However, I would say that in the district where I work, it's a little bit, I, I would suggest that it, it's a little bit different as to why there is like not a whole lot of homework assigned. So over in, I think it was either Denmark or Sweden, they determined with math in particular that like they, they're doing some psychological studies. Mm-hmm. When you're in elementary school and you're learning how to do a specific kind of problem or any grade really, and you're introduced to that new thing, here's a polynomial. This is the first kind of, pol- you do it about maybe 10 times after you get it after about the fifth or seventh mm-hmm. time or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. If you go home and do 20 of the same problem, which is the traditional math homework, you're doing right. 20, 30, the same. your brain actually does this weird thing where even if you got it in class, you start to second guess or like, why am I repeating this? I must not understand it because I'm repeating this. Right. So that actually kind of shoots students in the foot somewhat. Right. Uh, makes it harder than it should be. So that's right. why they stopped. I will say that that's like... point. Uh, we do that as adults too. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And so they, they, that's why they stopped in the more enlightened areas. Uh, I we're gonna spoke take to shots it. of our coffee every time Marco says hundred <laughs> percent. I, I years ago I spoke to a former colleague who moved on to a different school and said, "Well, you know, one of the conversations in the teachers' lounge is we send homework out and it just doesn't come back." Right. <laughs> I never. I, just I, I never did stop my doing. I barely did homework, bro. So like it was kind of, and I still graduated. So. So, you know, you know. <laughs> we well, went to so, Richmond High. So. That's true. That's true. No, but, but I, I had some strict, no, I had some strict teachers, though. Well, you're, you're paying for that. So that's why they yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. we got your money. <laughs> homework. I did homework all the time. You can't use an math. excuse for the worst. <laughs> game. Uh, y'all was back to back to each other. Y'all, somebody was crossing paths, something like that. It was just a Christian Richmond High yeah. or a Catholic Richmond High. Yeah, that's all it was. No, but I had some strict teachers that when I, I some like, like everyday homework, maybe, you know, like, yeah, this little thing. It's not that important, but actual projects were like projects have, are different. Have, projects, yeah, projects, are projects are definitely different. I hated right? projects. I never. I turned projects. those in. Mm-hmm. I turned those well, in. Well, you didn't have a projects. choice. I and that I, was ninety. Yeah. Was eighty percent of your grade. Right. And everybody, I didn't do them. Everybody picks up on things differently. Some people are better with projects, and some people are better with papers. Testing. You know, some people are better with testing than others. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that they don't. And depending on the type of test, like if your woodshot final is to build a thing, and you're a kinet- kinetic learner, you're going to be able to build the thing better than like you are going to do a test where it's nothing but essay questions. Right. It's just how you pick stuff up. But um, interestingly enough. Most of the work that I deal with in the expanded learning program, so after school in particular, is stuff that the kids didn't finish in class. That's what their homework is, basically. Mm. You know, for the most part. I think some teachers d- still do, like the history teacher still gives questions to answer mm-hmm. as homework. Yeah. But it's it's not every teacher, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's not every subject has homework. Right. Um, um, so, but they still end up working outside of class because for whatever reason, they didn't finish this module or that module when they were in class the first go around. It yes. 90 minutes to do well, it. Well, I mean, I think about that and it's a great point of like, when, as adults, if you, let's say, I'm just going to use this example because mm-hmm. it was recent, but like my cousin, he's uh, been working in construction and he went out to Vegas to take some classes to like get, oh, we have some sound problems or 
we're hearing a lot of banging. Yeah. Um, but he, they flew him out to Vegas for his job to go take some classes, mm. to, you know, to get a promotion, whatever. Right. I, I don't know the technical terms, um, but some training, uh, but like, yeah, level training. he sits, you know, he sits in the classroom, watches, you know, does whatever he has to do. Mm. And then after the day is done, he gets to just go back to his hotel and eat and do what he needs to, you know, do whatever, relax. Like there's, I feel like, like once you're, when you're doing something in real life, you're doing it, especially for a job. Yeah. You're doing it for that a lot of time. You're, you, there's no, there's no other job. And, and I'm not saying like people don't take work home and mm. do that, but they're getting paid. Yeah. Right. Like for, for kids, mm-hmm. man, if we're going into a class, you go in there, do your work and then give them like, well, so there's the day off. Like it, it's a lot of fucking work. It's there a lot of work. There has been this phenomenon yeah. quietly quitting where people are doing less of the whole taking their work from the office to home. Right. And they're just because in the old days, you go back to like the 50s, the 60s, you had an office job, your work ended when you At clocked the job. out. Uh, yeah. And At then the I, I want to say at some point during the 2000s, people started taking their work home, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And even though they've clocked out because they have a big project that's due. You've seen all the movies. They right, love right. those PowerPoint presentations. Right, I got right. the big presentation coming up. Right. But, uh, but now people are like remembering like, no, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm off at five. I'm not salaried. I'm or whatever. Right. If you're salary, that's you know, different. If you're salary, that's different. But I'm not, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go home and just cut it off here. My, my office hours ended five. I'm done. Right. You know, can you believe the voice party has had merch this whole time and we neglected to tell anybody t-shirts, hoodies, bath mats, wall clocks, throw pillows, even mini skirts. We will throw our logo on absolutely anything. Click the link in the description below and pick you up some voice party merch today.